Hi everyone, welcome to uh, Valent Academy. Um, I'm Jason Bowman, now I'm in the MFA Fine Art Programme Leader here um, at the Academy. Um, I want to welcome you all. Um, to my left is uh, Lisa Spitness uh, Mervitz, who's Director of uh, Gothenburg's Medical History Museum here, with whom we're collaborating on the seminar and on an exhibition programme. And I'll pass it to Lisa in a little while. Um, for a number of years, the MFA program has been interrogating across sort of our generations of students approaches towards site, context, um, community through a set of sort of projects. And in recent years, these have very much focused on the interface of art and heritage criticality and been supported quite significantly both by the Centre for Critical Heritage Studies here within the University and the Heritage Academy within the University and the Heritage Academy specifically works on relationships um, between critical heritage and um, museum sector partnerships and this is one of our um, partners within the Heritage Academy. Um, this particular seminar um, is the second in a series called um, Anatomizing the Museum, the first one which occurred in November in 2015, and then the, um, as a precursor, and then the subsequent one today. Um, these seminars are a response to the fact that we're seeing increasing impulse within a museums and not only contemporary art museums but a wide series of um, museums to engage with the question of contemporary art um, and to consider a set of impulses from our perspective on what this may mean, what the, um, what the intentions of trying to do this and what the problematics of it may potentially be. Um, so we've been interrogating a set of, um, sort of issues, so for example how critical can the intervention in the museum be when it's at the invitation of the museum? Is the contemporary artist now, after generations of site and context specific or, as Joanne Morrill argues, site responsive um, art, you know, sort of conducting a mode of criticality which the curator inside the institution is unable to manifest themselves within their own organisation? So is the artist replacing the curatorial role um, within that situation? Also beginning to interrogate questions of what is the infrastructural dynamics that may be at play within these museum frames, particularly when we are engaging with high levels of corporatization of public and state museums. Um, so, for example, in the last seminar, um, Matilda Pai interrogated what are the dynamics when the actual artistic practice runs a larger organisation itself than the department in which it's working within the museum, um, using both the example um, of David Hockney within um, the v &A where she works, etc. Today, we're beginning to look um, via the presentation that will come by Liberty to a different set of questions and a set of questions that have been posed um, recently um, in a publication called Strike Art by um, the historian Yates McKee, which is, are we beginning to see post-Occupy alternative questions begin around the question of either sanctioning or invitation? where Gulf Labour, for example, begin to intervene in the museum at the Guggenheim without any form of intervention, or you know, sort of, um, the unsanctioned uh, work conducted by people like Liberate Tate. So it seems that in the post-occupying moment, we have another set of institutional questions um, sort of coming forward. Um, so these are some things that we interrogated previously and we will continue to interrogate through this sort of, uh, programme. Um, this year, our museum collaboration has been with uh, the Medical History Museum here in Gothenburg, which is also affiliated to the university through South Grenska, which is a teaching hospital um, within, the, within the university here in Gothenburg. Um, <coughs> there have been seven um, MFA fine arts students in the first year of their educational programme who have produced works amidst the collections. Six, sorry, yeah, we once on this change, sorry. Six um, students who've developed um, works within that um, 
So context who are um, here today and the exhibition opened um, on Thursday of last week um, called Totally Sick um, and the exhibition runs for a few weeks still so you're more than welcome to see it if you haven't. Um, I have a number of people to thank just at the uh, beginning. Um, I'd like to thank my colleagues in the MFA programme who've um, both developed the seminar and the exhibition. Um, in my sort of absence, primarily because I'm fundamentally on research leave at the moment, so I'm grateful to them for taking over, um, especially um, Shelkin Mina um, Aramanuensis, who has co-programmed um, the seminar um, with me, to Denise Mellian, who's um, worked extensively in developing the partnership and looking after the relationship um, with the museum itself, to the um, students who um, have engaged with this sort of process. Um, we're very fortunate in that um, several of the people who are speaking today are people whose work is on the curriculum for this programme um, as well, so they should be pretty familiar with um, some of the concerns that people may address today. And then finally to uh, Lisa Spitz-Mirvitz for, um, for actually inviting us as a, as a programme into her museum, which raises that sort of question of how critical you can even the invitation comes <laughs> from the museum and you're in an academic environment you're running a program um, which was the first time in our years of doing this that actually worked that way where we were approached by um, the museum um, as opposed to us trying to approach um, museums to conduct this type of investigation um, but Lisa would like to also um, address you um, a little bit too yeah um, I think that Jason has uh, said quite a lot that I agree with, of course. And uh, I just want to say that please come to the exhibition. It's open until the 12th of May. And also on the seminar in November, I talked uh, uh, about our uh, previous collaboration with contemporary artists, if you're interested in what we have done at the Medical History Museum before. So I'm very happy to have been doing this collaboration, or we're still in it. And it's been very nice to have the students at the museum. So, yeah. Welcome to the Medical History Museum. Thank you.